what's going on my people welcome back to the lift capital youtube channel where life is for the taking it is a host himself ted talk money today we're going to be talking about why hbar is pumping today if you're kind of new to our channel we really do love hbar hedera and of course just really utility cryptos overall so if you're really into learning about hbar and of course getting into a deep dive today be sure that you drop a like and of course consider subscribing to our channel now, at the time of this recording, HBAR is going for about eight cents. There is a total supply of 50 billion HBAR that will ever exist. But doing some digging out there, you're seeing that some holders are really not feeling the HBAR price. There was actually a petition on developers, angry holders to restore the HBAR price. HBAR investors have filed a petition calling on network developers to restore the price of HBAR since it has continued to depreciate. I mean, if you guys really look at the performance over the past month, you can see that it's been a, been a bit of a range between about 6.8 and about 8.2. Not too much of a range, not really too much of a depreciation. As you guys can see over the past week, HBAR's performance has been pretty nice over the past, you know, over the past week, it's increased about 9%. But overall, there's been a lot of frustration over the current value of HBAR and holders have actually filed a petition to Hedera Hashgraph and other affiliated organizations on a platform called Change.com to restore the value of HBAR. In the petition, a lot of these holders are actually saying that they've made a significant investment into the Hedera network, mainly due to the trust in it being governed by multinational enterprises such as Google, Boeing, IBM, and others. However, instead, they've been seeing their investment increase or even instead of seeing it increase or even maintain a value, they have witnessed a continued depreciation of the asset. According to holders, research conducted with open source methods, tools show that the asset has been depreciating because of actions of the Hedera Hashgraph LLC, governed by 30 multinationals. Holders claim that, of course, these affiliated individuals and entities have inflated the circulating supply through token releases and sales that have been approved by the governing council directly or indirectly while also reducing the value of the asset HBAR and, of course, cutting down staking rewards. The holder goes on in the petition to list action plans that developers can actually implement that could possibly restore the value of HBAR. One thing I will have to say is that taking steps towards increasing transparency, increasing the value of this asset, really we have seen that it has been coming from these Hedera Hashgraph LLC uh, operators and entities. So let us know in the comments if you do believe that an action plan can cause an appreciation for HBAR. I mean, since you have a lot of angry holders that are just filing petitions with developers, guys, we want you all to be able to have an opportunity for passive income. As you guys can see right here, Forbes was covering a platform we've talked with you guys about and I've been using personally for decentralized staking. It's called R Staking. Really what it is, it's a decentralized staking platform. Of course, they create their own liquidity pools with a lot of your blue chip cryptos and really uh, they have quite a large uh, LP. It's about a, worth a billion dollars. But what it is, is this platform R offers you a fixed uh, a, a return of about 25% APR, no KYC, no limits and stuff. You can close your stake at any time, but you receive 25% a year APR on all of these coins and tokens, and really you're receiving it back in stable coins. Um, even if you're an XRP holder, you can actually stake uh, your XRP here, close your stake at any time, but you receive your rewards every three hours. I was going to uh, really want to show you all um, how staking would really work on this platform. Again, like I said, what you'd be receiving back is really in stable coins BUSD or USDT um, if you have all of these different choices here from different coins tokens and chains of course Arbitramatic XRP one thing I wanted to show you all is I want to actually uh, get in tune with you all with quant and show you how staking some quant would get involved uh, you could see here I wanted to put two if I want to just go ahead and put up two quant right now and come back to this thing in about a year uh, you all can see on that quant you'd be receiving back 25% you hit stake now now, two quant with 20 at 25 percent apr i can come back and see my income at about 52 busd and i'll be receiving those rewards every three hours i'd confirm my stake here 
boom and the stake has been opened you all can see the stake has been opened so really looking forward to that of course there will be a link in the description you guys can get in tune now right here guys the main piece of what i'm saying folks xrp nah hedera this is the move y'all what does what does oreo ritz toblerone have in common with hedera yes the new governance council member Mondelez has joined the Ratata Hadera Council. This is beautiful, guys. What we're seeing is more of a real world application of DLT utilizing Hadera. Look at this media, folks. Check this out. Absolutely bullish, folks. Absolutely bullish. So, of course, I got to doing some digging out there. And, yeah, they made the announcement today. This is fresh off the press. Uh, Mondelez joins Hedera Council to accelerate DLT adoption, digital transformation, and improve business efficiencies. Guys, this is beautiful. One thing I want you all to understand for the new person that is watching, we really do believe in the, in the members of the Hedera Council. And stay tuned because I'm going to show you how Lehman Baird feels also about the power of the Governance Council. But as a member of this council, Mondelez, whose mission is to empower people to snack right, is working to develop an innovative DLT-based solution on Hedera, initially focused on digital transformation initiatives, supply chain management, which is very important, and enriched business processes that's going to be enhancing the customer experience. Guys, we're, we're moving into the future of finance and business here because, again, in 2025 and beyond, we're going to be having greater experiences from these products as they're using DLT. One example is showcased with Mondelez's current work with SKUX. This is going to be a rising fintech platform uh, company, and they've expanded their customer service pr uh, program by enhancing uh, and offering these experiences with real-time digital payment options along with comp uh, coupons, paper checks, vouchers, and stuff. This is the next generation use case, leveraging Hedera and serving first real-world adoption of DLT to to track the supply chain of consumer packaged good cpgs the ones you get at walmart yeah that's going to be operating right here on hedera so i'll leave you guys a link uh, for that but so you guys can see that platform that they're talking about here intelligent instant payments for today's consumer folks i'm going to do the research for you do you see the connections here cheerios have you heard of them have you had a bowl this morning totino's pizza rolls cheese it's and you got it right here hedera operating smart Smarter, faster payments for all. Folks, Mondelez International, snacking made right. If you guys are really doing your research over on X, be sure that you go ahead and give them a follow and really get in tune with some of the media that they have going on over there. Next up, I want to show you all this here. Like I said, let's find out directly from the horse's mouth about the power of Hedera's Governance Council. Please listen to this. And so uh, the, the Governing Council is critical. I think over time, it's going to become the most important factor of why people trust Hedera. Not mm. that you trust any one of the council members. I would never trust any one person anywhere, but because you know who they are and they're keeping tabs on each other and they have this reputation to protect and all the meetings they have, the minutes are published to the world. This is what builds trust is that not to trust any single person, but that you, you trust them to be keeping tabs on each other. And um, mm. this, is, this is the secret sauce of Hedera, even more than Hashcraft. It's this. For sure. For You know, the word trust is synonymous with Hedera. You know, the trust layer of... Even more than Hashcraft, folks. 
This governance council is even more than Hashgraph as a secret sauce. So look at how many brands are going to be covered by this. You have seven days. Guys, just look at the screen right now. You see it. Cadbury, Chips Ahoy. I love their cookies. You get what I mean? A lot of these other brands that I've never seen, but still I can tell they're over in Europe and other places. Honeymade, Halls. These are major brands that are going to be here for decades. And you see now that they're going to be operating and building and striving to continue to have a great success on the Hedera network. Folks, with all of this, this excitement, I really want to stress with you that you want to start taking the security of your crypto seriously. What we have to do over here, Decent has looked out for our community to direct you now to the best wallet you really want to find. The most easy and safe hardware wallet that you are going to want to use, of course, is a Decent wallet. In the link of this video description is a link that you can save yourself some money on a biometric security wallet. Right here, you're seeing it. It. A very easy biometric security wallet because, again, the reason why you want to start taking your Hedera seriously is because over time, you're going to see that as these assets increase in value, that there's going to be certain attacks. And we want you to keep all of your crypto off of the exchanges and off of your phone, only allowing access through your biometrics. As you can see here, very easy navigation, four, four quick buttons, and you can see there for your uh, four uh, your your fingerprint also you can see here guys there's free shipping for all us eu uk and japanese listeners and guys h bar can be stored here now keep this in mind if you're going to be using the all-in-one card wallet h bar is not available there so what we would recommend is grabbing the full-on biometric wallet again do your research into understanding how keeping your crypto off of the off of the exchanges is so vital and come back and use the link in our description also a big reason why you want to do this is because right now when you buy a decent wallet between uh, now and the 20 fifth okay you're going to be getting 24 xrp but also in that you can you you enter to win 2024 xrp okay so use the link in our description come back over here and there's going to be a link here Let's fill out this form and you are going to be entered in one lucky winner randomly chosen going to enter for 2024 xrp and they're going to pay that out in march so that is beautiful now finding out right here doing my research into this Mondelez. How have they been doing? What's going on with them, their performance? Is it like this has been some struggling dumpster fire of a business and then they're coming over to Hedera and, you know, we're going to, you know, try to save them? Not at all. You can see that doing some research here, uh, Wall Street Journal has associated Mondelez with big brands that are playing the long game in China. You can see here Mondelez, the Oreo maker, still expects China to help power global growth in snacking guys this goes beyond governments here you're actually seeing basic innovation happening across the whole board listen to this wafer and cream cookies are top sellers in china with markets flavor oreo flavors including spicy chicken and wasabi guys the sales growth in china and emerging markets is actually booing buoying this snack company's revenue folks i was doing digging into its quarterly reports and you guys can see over the past three quarters back in 2024 they had quite an exceptional year uh in march of 2023 you know next quarter not too well but you all can see here that again their revenue seems to be on the up and up over Overall, over the past, over especially throughout 2023. So, guys, this is it right here. This is the secret sauce, and what gets you us so very, very bullish, very bullish for Hedera. You guys can see it. This is the absolute governance council. And seriously, if this is the first time you've understood this, Avery Dennison, are you familiar with them? Okay, not maybe Boeing. You know the airplanes. How about this Dell? You know the computers. Yeah, the information technology sector running a validator. T-Mobile, Google, IBM, LG, you see they're added right here. Mondelez has been added as of today, okay? So one thing you're going to have to understand over here, if you're kind of like, well, what's a good bag? How can I get involved? Right now at the time of this recording, you know, your 10,000 H bar, since of course, looking at our metrics here, you have a total of about 50 billion H bar. So 10,000 would be a decent start just to get into something. You guys can see here, none of it's financial advice, but you can see right now at the time of this recording, this is the figure about 816 USD to really get involved for a 10K H bar bag. 
Folks, I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. Be sure that you drop a like. If you're an H Barbarian, consider subscribing to our channel. And as well, guys, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of our updates. But with that being said, I'll holler at you later. Peace.